Hey guys, JC in here, and uh, I did a video on of the unboxing of this uh, uh, X52 Pro Professional uh, Hot Taz uh, joystick and throttle quadrant, but I lost it. So anyway, um, this is gonna be a bit of a review video on it, and um, uh, also a little trick that I need to show you <clears throat> uh, for if you get your own. So let's see. It's gonna be tricky to show you. I haven't done a video like this in a while. So, so <clears throat> been playing Elite Dangerous a lot and I came back to it this year and my old joystick uh literally broke. Um one of the buttons just really snapped off and I had to get a new one and I decided um to actually get a real joystick and throttle quadrant because I had that one with the we had the throttle levers on this on like the side, but and that was this dorky, it was this here, just keep <laughs> working the front of that. It just felt stupid, so I upgraded to this, and this was about 120 something dollars on Amazon, I think. And I got, they had a, uh, like a metallic version and the black version here, which was what I got. And, uh, I really like this one, so. Um, I've been playing it for. I've been using it all, like almost every day for the last three or four months now, and so I've it's broken in, and it's I know how to use it, and I'm and I'm really happy with it honestly. So, um, so uh, what you got here is a th main throttle quadrant. It's gonna be hard to say. Um, The uh, has this alighted uh, measurement here that I hardly ever use. So that's, <laughs> it's just, I, it looks neat. Sometimes I do use an elite because you do got to throttle down near stations, and they say that on this you can go to 75 percent throttle, but I usually have to go about half, which is about 50 on the 50 mark there. So. That's exactly 50, and that's exactly half throttle, which is pretty neat. And on the side here, um, you got this uh, force feedback thing, and I think I have it all the way back, so it's as loose as possible. So, I, I think I can tighten it up. So, let's see what that feels like. I forgot what it feels like. Yeah, it's a lot more sticky. It's a lot more sticky. You gotta pull it harder and push it harder. So, I, I don't know when that would come in handy unless you really need to finesse uh, your throttle then this might might be where you want to set it. So you would want to tighten that up but I don't like it loosey goosey so all the way back. Yeah, see it's a lot looser. Now on the throttle here it has like uh oh I don't know what you call it like before it goes all the way uh, to the extreme, there's like a little spot where it catches almost and uh, it resists movement. I don't know what you call that, but I saw a video somewhere where you can actually go inside and take that out, which I think I might do because I don't use it. And I have no use for it. It's actually kind of annoying sometimes. So, <clears throat> the. Um, so you got quite a few buttons. You got a hat switch here, which I use in Elite Dangerous for my uh, thrusters for moving a ship around. So that's really nice. This one is the uh, when you use the actual uh, profile in Elite. This one is your free cam or your head camera. You can use this to move your head around. Now this one down here actually is a, like a mouse toggle thing. And I actually had to disable it because it, on this one, it's a bit barky. Oh, look, see my mouse? I thought I disabled that. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know if you see it on the screen there. But yeah, it moves my mouse around. And I don't use it. I just don't. So I tried to disable it. But I guess it didn't work. Unless, no. Anyway, it's, it kind of leans forward on the up position and, uh, once in a while, I'm not in game, my mouse will start moving around <laughs> uh, by itself. So I had to turn turn that off somehow. Oh, we know it's a dead zone. 
I had to, had to uh, fine tune the dead zone on that, and I'll show you how. Um, so, head camera, uh, toggle. Uh, this is your boot. No, this is your reverse toggle, reverse or forward. And this is your boost button. And these uh, are like, uh, I forgot. But, uh, you can use these for, uh, like, <clears throat> I forget the word, the aviation. There's an aviation. aviation uh, thing um, where you can, if you get like a weird wind, you can uh, tilt your uh, rudder permanently to compensate, and that's what you can use these for. Um, but they have no function in Elite Dangerous. But they added them onto this for so you can use them in other uh, flight simulators and stuff, which I'm pretty happy with. And this, uh, you, you can key this, key bind this to have it zoom in and out. Like an elite, you can use it to uh, expand the the uh, holographic map, uh, or and uh, so have a uh, more range and visibility or not. That's uh, that's pretty handy, but it's really loose. It, you know, it's just plastic, so I don't like that. I wish that was metal. And then on the back here, if you see here, you got a mouse wheel that's also a push button too. And I use, yeah, you know, see. And I use that to toggle between my uh, weapons groups or uh, discovery scanners and stuff like that. So that's that's really nice, and it's and it's almost in the way, almost in the way. But you know, sometimes I, I toggle it and move shit around. <laughs> but anyway, uh, the way this is plugged in, it's got a uh, main power cord that goes to an outlet, and then this attaches to this so that they talk to each other, and then. I think crap I forgot because one of these cords plugs into my PC and I can't remember which one it was crap but there is only one USB port that for for both of them and I can't remember which one it was so never mind <laughs> oh no wait this doesn't this is the USB cord I'm sorry for some reason I thought it plugged into an outlet down down here but no it goes straight to the PC tower sorry I'm dumb. <laughs> now this display is kind of useless, but it's neat to have because it does show the time, and I don't have a wall clock anymore. I keep forgetting to get a damn wall clock. Yeah, so that's nice to have. Um, now there, you see here that has modes, so you can make three different profiles for uh, whatever. You, like you go on, you got a game where you can have like multiple different vehicles, like aircraft, like a and like a. Uh, a boat and then like a, a tank or a car or something. You can switch these modes right here. And this light changes too right here so you know which mode you're in. So that's really clever. I like that but I don't use it. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, let's see. Some buttons out here. Um, there's like a, It has a, like a stopwatch feature that I don't use. Uh, these don't really do much. Yeah, they they could work on that. Oh, I needed to go drink of water. Hold on a minute. Mm. Ah. Alright, so that's the throttle quad point. Uh, is there anything else about it? Oh yeah, they have uh, suction cups. I have them stored away somewhere. This one has four, I think. Yeah, this one does two. And you can attach them to your uh, glass surface or something, but I'm using a like a soft mat here because I'm always resting my elbows on it, so um, I just leave them off. And they also have two pi uh, pilot holes for like uh, long screws or nails or something, one here and one here, so they can mount it onto something. So both of them have it. So that's that's really, that's, a, that's some serious stuff there. So yeah. Um, now moving on to the joystick here, you get three toggle buttons that go up and down, and key bind them to whatever. That's my time. Oh, crap. Lost my time. Oh, right, these are push buttons too. Okay, so, so, um, this one uh, toggles my uh, free cam in third person. Uh, let's see, what is it? 
landing gear, frame shift drive, cargo scoop, and <coughs> see here. if I can uh, show you here, how's, how's my battery? Okay, got 78 minutes of battery. Wonderful. Ah, got here. All right, so if you see back here, this comes loose, and you can adjust the height of this resting plate, which is really important. So then you pull it back. Oh, crap! Did I break it? Don't tell me I broke it. Yes, really stuck there. Jam something. Used to be loose. What happened? That's new. But anyway, you're supposed to pull this out, and it's it's got a tongue that fits into these slots here. And you can just how high you want your hand. And I put my I like to have it so I can easily th reach all these top buttons with my thumb. So. Uh -uh put it on number three or four I think. I'm not sure. But uh, that shouldn't be stuck. I wonder what happened. There it goes. Okay. So that push it back and I should be able to move it. Yeah. So I can move it up or down. Man, is it being stubborn? There it goes. Okay, so okay. So, just wanted to make sure it still worked. <laughs> so make sure it's on number four, I think. I think that's how it goes. So, yeah. So I like that. I like to be able to idly reach the top buttons with my thumb without having to lift up. I like to have my uh, hand resting on it, on this piece here. So, all right. So moving on, this lower button that toggles your uh, your head camera in game. Um, it can be a, in other games like a secondary weapons button. You can re key bind it to whatever you want. But I use it to uh, look over to my side panels. So <clears throat> let's see. Here. The, the trigger button back here is a two-tier button. If you can hear the clicks, first click, then there's a second one when you push it all the way in. I don't use a second one, I just use the first one. Because I don't think you know, the Elite Dangerous will uh, recognize that one or not. I'm not sure. But anyway, up here, um, this is your uh, let's see, first fire group, second fire group. This actually deploys hard points. I thought that I could keybind this for uh, um, actually shooting, but when you're out maneuvers, um, I need my thumb down here when I'm doing maneuvers and stuff, so I can't use it. It can't use, I lose control and stuff of the of the uh, stick, and so I need my thumb down here. So I went back to the normal profile that it has in game, and I use this one for my second fire groups, which is my, my main weapons. So yeah. And this um, is another hat switch. I use it to go through the main menus in the side panels. This has no function that I know of. It's not bound to anything. Um, and I don't know what to use it for. So, but this one, that's that's like a mouse click. That's I use that for my uh, mouse click to click on uh, tabs and buttons on in game and in the in game menus. Sorry. <clears throat> so yeah. That's pretty much it for this one. Um, the spring on this is wonderful. I am so damn happy. I mean, this thing is so soft. You can do such fine finessing of uh, your your aircraft or your spaceship. It is so wonderful. The, the other joystick I had had the strongest spring. I had to really fight it, and then out of the dead zone, and then work it over. And it was always too much. It was. It was I couldn't do fin fine small movements. 
like I can with this. And, wow, that's getting dirty. So, this is a wonderful spring. It's a dual spring, too, I think. There's something there. And, um, you can yaw with this, but it has an option down here. There's a button. Now, I'm not sure how it works, but you can uh, lock it so it can't yaw. Like, if you want to use a rudder pedals or something with this, you can lock this so it doesn't yaw. I'm not sure how it works. Either you pull, I think you pull it out. No? I have no idea. I don't know. I really have no idea. I don't know. So, <laughs> anyway, that that's that. Okay, so, um, I'm going to stop filming here on the and go into desktop, and I'm going to show you, um, well, actually, let me just get closer here. I want you to see the buttons change colors. Let me show you how to change the button colors. You have to go into the actual device manager here. So, real quick. Huh? I want the story to off. What the hell that means. Alright, let me go into my device. Where is it? Device and printers. Show me the device and printers. Alright. So, game, game controller. Alright, I don't know if you can see this. Uh, yeah. Yeah. There. Let's see. Alright, so I went to here and I'm uh, going to properties. Um, now, there's also a thing when you first get it and you're using it and you get it for Elite Dangerous. This is the boost button, remember that. And right now it's a mode switch button. Uh, when you first get it and you install it, it's a mode switch button. You hold it in and it changes the, uh, the uh, map or something. I uh, forget what it is, but you can't use it to actually boost your afterburner. So you got to go in here to. Let's see. Yeah, right here. In MFD. You, uh, yes, yeah, called a clutch mode. You and it's going to be automatically checked. I don't know if you see it. Um, shit. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but you want to make sure that's unchecked. So yeah. Now in this, well, like, let me show you the lights. I can change the lights here, and there's one of this menu. Let me, uh, let me show you here. Now I got mine lit up like a Christmas tree because it's, I think it's fun, festive. So, uh. Change one of these off. Red, green, and they call it amber, but I think it's supposed to be yellow. So, and the slider bar up here allows you to uh, adjust the uh, intensity of the lights. So, that's kind of neat. I can turn all the way off or all the way to full, but I like them at half. So, that's nice. Alright, I'm going to stop filming here and go inside and my, my, uh, my computer and use bandy cam and I'll show you this up close. Okay? Be right back. Okay, now we're here at my computer and you can see things up close. So, here we have the, uh, was it? I don't, we're going to test stuff. I don't know what this does for personally but anyway let me show you the dead zones here now so what what is that one? Oh yeah now some of these you're gonna have to really fine tune that dead zone like that it's because you can see I don't know if you can see that thing wobbling but it is wobbling now um, let's see here where's my throttle okay yeah okay Yeah, I had to bring in the dead zone on this one a little bit too because my SRV was starting to move on its own. So I had to bring that dead zone in a little bit more. So, yeah. And let's see here. And where's that mouse? Yeah, that's the mouse. The uh, <clears throat> little uh, nub button down on the side by my thumb. That thing, I really had to uh, expand the dead zone because it just wants to take off and do its own thing. So... All right, and here's the LEDs menu. Uh, you can uh, customize all the colors and uh, their light intensity. You can even turn colors off if you wanted to. And then, oh, that slider bars are on the same, on these two same menus. Huh. 
So the uh, the this little LED screen here, you can now set the uh, time on it, uh, uh, different stuff. And here's that clutch mode that I'm talking about. When you first get this joystick, come in here and uncheck that so you can use the boost button for boosting out of stations and stuff. Fucking idiot. So yeah, make sure all that's applied. So yeah, that's and that's pretty much the hot test here. Uh, and I've been pl using it for the last couple months, and I'm very pleased. I have I have such great control over my spaceships. I love it, and um, I hope this uh, system will last me for a good while. I paid good money, so it should last me all year if it doesn't break on its own. I haven't had any problems with it except for one occasion when I was trying to fly to, to station, and all the lights started blinking on and off like it was uh, like it had a power fluctuation. But I think that was because there was a storm outside, and there was a power fluctuation to my house. And that's the only time I really ever lost control of my ship and I couldn't steer it. I almost went into a planet. But besides that, that that's the only problem I ever had with it. Ever. And it's wonderful. I love it. I suggest you guys go get one too. It's really worth it. You will fly a lot better. You have more control over your planes and spaceships and stuff. And it's pretty universal. It's pretty universal. I really enjoy it. So, and I'm, I'm probably going to lose my voice tomorrow. I've been talking so much. <laughs> okay, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. <clears throat>